and I'll run through you guys with you guys real quickly how I'd like you to enter our data for our polling exercises here in Coastal. Everybody should be able to get into the shared Google Drive. Uh, we go into that folder and go into the opinion poll folder and you'll find uh, both a, a survey that if you lose your surveys you can um, download this and print out additional copies if you need it. But if you click on our Google Sheet here, this is gonna this is gonna have our, our communal data set. And what you'll see in there is initially populated the data that we collected this summer in the immediate wake of the Refugio spill. And uh, you can scroll right, left, etc. If we scroll down, we'll get to the bottom of all that. And what we see right below the the previous survey data, I've listed uh, 40 slots for everyone alphabetically. So you guys just scroll down. So if I was Sean Casey, I would just come up here. If this is my first survey, I'd click here and I would start entering the data here. So again, each row is one entire survey. So I'd fill this in scrolling to the right. If we scroll down, it looks like uh, Vanessa has started to enter her data, so let's take a quick look. So Vanessa, so here's her name. Here's here's her own internal uh, track keep um, uh, number to keep track of what surveys are what. This is the first one she entered, the second one, third one. Again, I strongly suggest you guys number each of your surveys uh, by hand after you've uh, conducted them. So if there is a question, we can go back and double check your data entry or what have you. This is the version of the poll that uh, she was using, and we're all using the same version, so this should be consistent. Uh, name the date that the survey was conducted and the year and the year this is was a silly organizational reason why we have two years the time um, when the survey was started and then the beach location uh, you can leave county blank if you want we'll fill that in that'll that'll be filled in and then for example here's the first question on the survey again the first column the answered column just simply says if someone did indeed give an answer any answer so in this case, it says, yes, someone answered it, and uh, yes, they did think that uh, climate change is a problem. Also note, this is just my abbreviated version of the full question, so we don't have to fill out a huge amount of text here. Um, and, and a check mark is a one, blank or, or not answered is a zero, and we go across like that, so pretty obvious. In some cases, we have um, this uh, question here which is not a yes or no question in this case did they answer it so they answered zero in this case this should actually be entered as a blank this should not be entered as zero ounces because they didn't answer at all so um, now maybe Vanessa was talking to him afterwards and asked the guy and he said that yes indeed I don't eat anything uh, in which case I would change that to a one and make that zero but as it stands this guy has to be entered as as blank can you because you can imagine if we had let's say we had two people responded one said it was they ate six inches of seafood one they one said they ate zero ounces of sea, seafood the average there would be three versus if someone said six and someone else um, didn't respond at all right so that that's why we we have to enter the data that way the correct code it the correct way uh, we just go across similar 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 um, when we do get something uh, such as what were they doing at the beach, this is an open-ended question, right, in this case. So they're saying that this person was tanning and going swimming. Uh, then this guy to the right is your effort to categorize it into our traditional categories of beach-related activities. If you can fit it into one, of those one or more of those categories, great. If not, you're just going to enter an other and say we didn't have a category for relaxing slash chilling, okay? Again, um, the response here, th this column is tied to this column, and so if they did not answer this, this is, if this is a zero, it gets uh, an absence of information in that particular cell, that corresponding cell. Keep scrolling off to the right, looks good, looks good. In this case, this was the open-ended one where we asked if people had any comments or impressions about the spill. These are going to write down, um, we're going to write down verbatim what they wrote. Uh, if there's a spelling error, you can go ahead and, and correct that spelling error. Again, then just some of the demographic questions. And then here we go, we're saying if they were male or female. And then again, over here in the comments, you're gonna make the note if they were individual or in a group or if there's something other unique about or notable about the, the respondents. Um, maybe they're really belligerent towards you or, or something like that. Okay, so there you go. So you're just gonna fill those guys in. 
and you're going to go down. So you don't need to enter, uh, insert any rows or anything like that. It's all set up for you. So go for it and have a good time finishing entering our data so we can pull all this together. And at the very bottom, if you scroll way down, we'll talk about this later, but we can actually start to talk about our aggregate analysis of what people felt um, and thought from your surveys merged with the surveys from this summer. Thanks, you guys.